Okay, guys, check this out. We had this actually sent to us to uh, a review. This is a dash cam. This dash cam actually has voice recording, photo mode, audio recording, loop recording, motion detection, and a G sensor built into it. So I'm actually going to show you what it looks like. Uh, I've already got it out of the box, but there's a few other little components that are inside of this box that I need to show you. So we'll get this out real quick. And this is the camera itself. As you can see, it's got the uh, little window mount that you can use to actually put this into your window. Uh, this would be the front of the camera. And so you have your forward facing camera. And then right here, you've got a rear camera that's actually going to watch the occupants of the cab of your vehicle. And it's adjustable up and down right here so you can actually get the angle correctly on it. Uh, this thing uses a type C charging port. It also has a memory card included. I don't remember what size that was in it, so let's look at it. It has a 32 gig memory card already included in it. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to keep recording on your, uh, on your dash cam. And then as the videos uh, fill up the card, it removes the oldest videos and, and replaces them uh, onto the card. Now, all your control functions are right here. You've got your power and then your menu and your clock and everything. And so you can scroll through these and actually watch the video footage. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the different components here. It's got a USB-C type charging cable. It also comes with a little tool because uh, these little adhesive clips you can use to actually run your power cords and keep them out of the way so they're just not hanging. Also comes with a 12 volt that you can actually plug into your 12 volt, uh, the 12 volt lighter adapter or the 12 volt adapter inside of your vehicle, which is also a USB-C as well. And it comes with this suction cup style window mount that has actually got a lock on it. So it pulls the suction and vacuum on it. And it's also got the kind of, uh, that actually sticks to the window with a 3M tape. That's where the little removal tool comes in. So now I'm going to actually go and install this into the vehicle and show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mount this into the window right here. And we'll do the little lock feature. Let me see, it goes this way, locks it. And now we can adjust this where we need it. Tighten the little knob on the side. And it clears that camera. No, nope, we need it just a little bit over to the other side. Since it has the uh, camera for the rear, you don't want it to be an obstruction with the rear view mirror. So we've got it mounted into place. Okay, and there's no obstructions with the rear view mirror. And so now we are going to put in the uh, power outlet. So we've got the 12 volt adapter right here. And I believe this is my wife's car. So I'm gonna go through and figure out where all her stuff is. Okay, she's got a 12 volt adapter right there on the side. 12 volt adapter. And the cool thing about that 12 volt adapter is it also gives you another uh, source of power because it actually has a little power, uh, power plug in the top of it. So we're gonna plug this in. I need to adjust this real quick so I can get this plug in. And we're just going to run this over right here. Oh, wow, that thing came up immediately. Check out the quality on this thing. That's pretty cool. Look at that. You can actually see right here on the uh, screen. That's my finger. So it's showing you two views on here. It's actually giving you the view of the uh, passenger or the driver. So if you're using this as an Uber driver or something like that, uh, this will actually help you out a lot because you're going to be able to monitor your passengers. Uh, also, it's a good idea to have the, any of the occupants of your vehicle being monitored in case of an accident. Uh, that way you can uh, actually keep tabs on what's going on if, the, if in case there is an accident and there's an investigation and they need to find out what's going on. Now we can go right here through the menu and we got right here, you can change your different views on it. You have it to where it's just strictly a rear facing in your LCD is still going to be recording out the front and that locks it menu lock 
and then we hit OK. And as you can see right now, it is actually recording up here in this top corner. There is a little red light going back and forth. It is actually already recording. So this is actually pretty cool because I'm going to back this up so you can actually see the camera a little better. I uh, like the fact that you can actually adjust this one here to fit you because not everybody's as tall as I am. Uh, so this is actually really good. The video quality on this is, is, is insanely good. I mean, look at that. You can see the camera that I'm using here, the iPhone, but look at the video quality itself. That is really good. Okay, I've got to say, uh, just from just from right now, actually looking at it, just the quality on the screen, this thing record, records in 1080p, so I already know the video footage is going to be good. Just make sure your windshield is clean. Uh, however, what I'm really impressed with right now is the quality of the image just on the readout screen, because it's like I'm looking at a little miniature HD camera. Uh, so I, I really like this. Uh, it's not very bulky and if I'm sitting here in my seat that's not an obstruction in my line of sight and the way this is designed you can actually put it anywhere on your windshield uh, I would usually either suggest to the right or to the left of your uh, of your uh, rearview mirror so that way it can monitor everybody that is in your vehicle and right now with the way it is I like this positioning because it monitors not only the driver but it monitors the person who's sitting directly in the back. So again, like I said, if you're a delivery driver or an Uber driver and picking up passengers, this is a good way to monitor your passengers. So is this an item that I would recommend? Absolutely, I think that this, uh, right now, this looks really cool. So is this an item that I would recommend? Absolutely would, because a dash camera is something I think is everybody needs in their vehicle. Uh, not only to protect themselves, but to protect uh, those around them and to actually get the footage that you need to protect your property because car theft, accidents, and things happen, and this will be a way for you to actually monitor it and keep track of what's going on. So yes, I do recommend this.